Welcome to Taylor's Track Adventures. This time we are at Richmond and we have to start off the whole experience at Waffle House. This was my first time at Waffle House, believe it or not. Uh, 10 out of 10, I actually really enjoyed the time, enjoyed the vibe. Then the next morning we headed into Richmond Raceway and I will say they did a fantastic job with the rebrand, the new logo, all the colors, everything in between. It's all integrated into the track. The facility is also gorgeous and we went into this tunnel to get to the media center and we saw this beautiful piece of art. Uh, poor Denny throughout the whole weekend, he kept getting a mustache on him. But first thing you gotta do when you get to the media center is you set up your whole space. I know I could be more organized. I promise you all I'm going to work on it, but I have so much stuff I got to bring to the track. So that's what I'm working with. Then the media had one-on-one -on -one time with a few of the drivers. William Byron was the first one. Then more of the drivers came in and we all just kind of huddled around whichever driver we wanted to talk to. And I got to talk to Harrison Burton before the race. I asked him many, many questions uh, to do a pre-race piece on his season so far. So really awesome to talk to him. I really appreciate his time. I also got to catch up with other drivers like Josh Berry, talking to him about his weekend. I did a post-race story about his race because he actually did a really good job. Unfortunately, it though we finished outside the top 10 but sometimes it just is what it is but appreciate him for taking the time as well then I walked back out to the track and looked at the sites before the Xfinity Series race got going green typically during the races I like to be in the media center just to make sure I'm seeing the live scoring and everything like that but sometimes I just like to kind of hang around outside because I get to see moments like this happening live at the track where Joey Gase ripped off his back bumper and threw it at the car of Dawson Cram what an incredible moment to be part of and just kind of see that unfolding live at the track was insane and of course, I knew what that meant. That meant I had to go to the Infield Care Center and hear what Joey Gase had to say following the race. I appreciate him taking the time to talk to all media involved. This is me waiting to hear from him. And then, of course, before we knew it, Chandler Smith was winning the Xfinity Series race. A dominant day for Toyota in that series. Took the top four spots. And there were a few drivers that made their Xfinity Series debut. One of them was this guy, Bubba Pollard. Very impressed with his top 10 finish. All the drivers, actually, that made their debut did very, very well. Then I headed back to the Media Center, tried to put together a few post-race pieces and then we listened to Chandler Smith also talk about his race. This was Bob Pockrash showing Chandler Smith what happened with Joey Gase. He, he didn't really know what happened during this instance, so seeing his reaction live was pretty funny, and we appreciated him, of course, talking to the media and sharing more about his race. And that leads us into day two. With the crew, I got Noah, Peter, Zach, and Toby behind me. We were walking in the rain to the fan zone. We wanted to see what there was to see, and of course, I know this looks like it's kind of sunny, partly cloudy now, but I promise you the rain was on and off all morning long. A great fan zone set up at Richmond Raceway was one of the most impressive ones that I had seen in a while. And yes, they had a petting zoo and it was like the best thing ever. And then we got a quick lunch, really, really good Easter dinner. This is like my fifth consecutive Easter I've missed with my family because of work. So I was glad that they were able to serve us some really good food. And then this is the lineup of fans trying to catch their favorite driver after going out of driver's meetings. And before the race, I really like to take time to walk around in the garage area, walk around the track just to see if there's any other things I can catch like these guys doing the broadcast. I also like to make sure, you know, with this weekend with the wet weather tires, when were those going to go? on etc of course cars got pushed out to pit road covers on because it was still pretty rainy but thanks to nascar and everyone working really hard to get this track dry with wet weather tires we were able to get this race going green this was one of the most incredible views i got this weekend getting so close to the track on pit road i gotta catch something i've never seen before live a non-competitive pit stop because pit road was still pretty damp at this point but again nascar did an incredible job making sure that everything was dry as the laps went on during caution and after the competition caution and those pit stops happened i booked it back to the media center to start taking some more notes during the race things that i was noticing this is my setup like live during a race i have the scoring monitor on you have the live feed on that's why a lot of people try to stay around the media center for the race so you can see that live feed not the broadcast and of course denny hamlin getting the win doing the burnout i also captured this moment after the race with josh berry and daniel suarez they had that contact on track so just talking it out there also after the race talking to ellen sawyer about the wet weather tires and also talking about the decision of the restarts very much appreciate him for taking the time to talk to the media all about that decision after this i booked it back to the media center to catch the race winning press conference with Denny Hamlin, Chris Gabehart, and Joe Gibbs. I've always wanted to be a part of a Denny Hamlin press conference, so I was so excited to be part of that this weekend. I feel like he gives great insight, great detail. Chris also gives great detail, very thorough with their answers, so appreciate them for their time after that thrilling win on that overtime finish. After this, I finished up some post-race pieces, and we waited for inspection to be cleared before heading out to the track and recording an episode of Above the Yellow Line with Toby Christie of tobychristie.com. Finally, was able to have him on the main show, so thankful that he joined me for that but that was my weekend at Richmond Raceway it was my first time at the track and again it was such an amazing facility um, thank you to everyone at Richmond Raceway for putting on an incredible weekend thank you so much to Toby Christie from tobychristie.com for allowing me the opportunity to cover the track thanks to NASCAR and I'm excited to do this all again at Martinsville